All right, we're back. All right, yeah. Again, Eureka Apex 2XT. Um, one of the things I want to point out, get my shadow out of there, is down here, the way this thing attaches, get a little loop right here, and you just grab this. Very, very convenient, you know, if you're trying to set up in a storm or whatever. It's slick and it's easy. And also, the fly attaches here with slide buckles. Never had a problem with them coming unattached. And here's another part of the ventilation. It stakes out and guys out there. You also have guy points at the four corners. Um, it didn't come with cord for that, but you know, paracord, whatever will work. I don't know if you can see it or not. It might be reflecting in the sun. Um, when I first got it, I had some trouble with the seams leaking, so I took some seam grip and I just coated the heck out of the stuff, so they don't leak anymore. Right. Come around. Is it double entry, full visible on each side? This one's folded back and open. It's nice and roomy. Yeah. Let's open it up. Yeah. Here's that vent I showed you on the other side. And you can see the mesh and it goes down through there. Yeah. Same thing on this side. I've used this tent in the rain and in the snow, and I've never really had a problem with anything coming in on me. Yeah, you know, I've gotten a little bit of spin drift coming in through, like here, but the solution I found for that was just to stake it in a little closer to the surface so that it didn't have as much room to blow up in through and then whenever the wind died down you just stake it back out but this is it now one thing I will mention this thing is a little short for me um, I just barely fit in it at 6'2 or at 6'4 so take that for what it's worth you know but there's plenty of room between me and the other side there. You now, um, I originally got this for my wife and I to backpack with, but after she had the kids, she really hasn't gotten out backpacking much, so this tent's seen hardly any use. And then, of course, double mesh pockets, you know, one for. I guess his and hers, depending on how you want to look at it. And of course it's got the tie points in here if you want to get a... Oh, I forget what they're called. It's a shelf, basically. You can hang stuff on. But alright, well... I'll get out and tear the whole thing down now. Oh yeah, one other point I wanted to add. One of the things I found with this in the rain is this door opens up. I don't know if you can see it, but the door on the fly actually opens a little over the edge of the bathtub floor. So when you're getting in and out in the rain, and the wearing snow or what have you, you want to leave the fly zipped to about there and just crawl in and out of that. You know, because if you open it up the whole way, you're going to get rain in here. Um, another one too, after a heavy snow or something like that, it's a good idea to just, you know, smack it a few times and get it off there before you open it up, because otherwise it'll just dump right in your lap when you open it up.
Eureka Apex 2XT.